How you doing, Harriet? I'm fine. How are you? Good. I'm all right. I have to say, I watched the latest episode of Succession last night, so oh, I'm a little bit. You're ahead of uh, me. I mean, I know oh, what, yeah, I know no what happens. I know what happens. Of course but I you have, do. But I haven't watched it. <laughs> Yeah, no spoilers here. No spoilers. No, spoilers here. no, we'll all keep quiet about that. <laughs> You've been very lucky to have quite a good run of of, of shows and films. Uh, that you've got Succession, you've got this, you've got Ted Lasso, which everybody loves. It's exactly what actors want, I think, is to sort of change their appearance and change their character and um, explore completely different media and different stories and different styles. Uh, that's what I came into it for, I think. Um, so, aren't I lucky? I, uh, this is my 50th anniversary since I left drama school, and I'm still going on doing what I wanted to do. You know, if you'd told me when I was leaving drama school that at my age I'd still be playing people and changing my wigs and, and putting on funny voices, I'd be very, very happy. I'm sure you would be. I'm sure you would be. It's every, every actor's dream. Uh, Silo, I mean, it... it there's so many kind of philosophical ideas about it and about, you know, the future and, and the world as it is now and in, in the future. What was the what was the lure for you with this? Did you get a sense that this was an important story that, that needed to be told? I did. I think it's, it's, it's quite a complicated story because all the while you're not quite sure who's telling the truth, you know, from the top layer. You don't quite know who are the goodies and the baddies. And you, I think in a way we all feel that, you know, Although we have instincts about various people who run our lives, a lot of them we don't see. Um, and uh, a lot of our lives are taken on trust, you know. And um, if you sort of, if you make that hyper hyper and put us under the ground where we would all die if we didn't obey the rules, then it becomes just an exaggerated version of a lot of things that go on in our lives all the time. Um, but what I like about this story as well is that the, 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 the ground floor, the bottom, the deep downs, the mechanical area uh, are absolutely essential, you know, and it's very obvious that life would stop if we pull the plug. And um, that's quite relevant at the moment, isn't it? You know, with a lot of strikes going on and things like that. Yes, um, yes, absolutely. Uh, and you get, I mean, on some of the series that you worked on, you worked with some amazing cast. This one is is no different. I mean, there's a plethora of amazing, amazing people. Yeah, well, the tragedy is that I don't meet a lot of them because my oh, yeah. stupid character is too frightened to go out the door. So it's only if they come into my little cell that I actually meet them. But it was, yeah, I mean, of course, you sort of, you get, you get an atmosphere with a cast, you, you know, and you sort of, you know that generally everybody's kind of wanting to go to work. And I think a lot of that's down to Rebecca because Rebecca has got a sort of very sunny, uplifting kind of attitude. And I think that infects everybody. Um, and yeah. she was the person I mostly interacted with. So She's been doing pretty well for herself as well recently. So, you know. Good company. Yeah, she gets around. <laughs> uh, Harriet, it's been lovely to talk to you. Thank, Thank you so much for your, for your time. Thank you so much. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, hey you guys. <laughs> hey you guys. <laughs> hey, that's what they all say. Hey you guys. Hey you guys.